Or this awesome interview would like to share some special angles where we are able to determine the ratio of any trigonometric functions without using a calculator. First, consider this isosceles triangle. We know that let's say this is right angle triangle and the 90 degree is here and this is isosceles which means that the remaining angle must be exactly the same which is 45 each. Since this is isosceles, which means that the side line must be exactly the same if both of them are equal to one unit. By using the Pythagoras theorem, the longer side is equal to square root of the sum of square of the remaining side, which is one square plus one square, and we obtain square root of two. And for this equilateral triangle, by using the properties, we know that each angle is equal to 60 degree. If we cut this equilateral triangle into equal half and we will obtain 90 degree at the middle and since the length are exactly the same for all the sides, if the length is two units each since we cut into half which means that we will obtain one unit each for this side and to determine the height of this equilateral triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem as well. Since 90 degree, opposite of 90 degree is always the longest, which means that to obtain the relatively shorter sign, we take square root of the longest, which is 2 square minus the relatively shorter, which is 1 and square. So we have square root of 2 square is 4 minus 1 square is 1. And hence, we obtain square root of 3. By using these special angles, we are able to determine this special angle. From here, we can see that 60 degree, when we take half, and we will obtain 30 degree here. So the special angle that allows us to determine the ratio without using calculator include 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. So from here, we just have to try our best to make this 75 be the combination, either subtraction or addition of these angles. So we can rewrite sine 75 degree as sine 30 degree plus 45 degree since 30 plus 45 is equivalent to 75 degree. So by using the sum identity of sine function, A now is 30 degree, B now is 45 degree. And make use of the formula, we should have sine 30 degree cos 45 degree plus cos 30 degree sine 45 degree. Refer to sine 30 degree. 30 degree, we should refer to this right angle triangle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. Hypotenuse is always the longest. Then we times cos 45. Cos 45, then we have to refer to this isosceles triangle. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the longest, which is always opposite of 90 degree. So we have adjacent 1 over hypotenuse square root of 2 plus cos 30. So cos 30, cos is, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is square root of 3 over 2. Sine 45, so sine 45 is opposite over opposite over hypotenuse square root of 2. Then we obtain 1 over 2 square root 2 plus square root 3 over 2 square root 2. Of course, we can first rationalize the denominator. Since we want to rationalize square root 2, so what we have to do, we times this exactly the same value. So square root and square root, which means that we will have square. Square and square root offset each other, then we obtain an integer. 
We cannot simply time something to the denominator as this will change the value. So what we do, we times the same thing to the numerator as well. And same for this term. So we should obtain square root 2 over 2 square root 2 square, which is 2. Plus, set 3 times set 2. By using the law of indices, we obtain set 3 times 2, which is set 6 over 2 times 2 as well. And we should have set 2 over 4 plus set 6 over 4, which is equivalent to 1 over 4 times set 2 plus set 6. And hence, we prove. Of course, we can check by using the calculator. So we have sine 75 degree and we should obtain exactly the same value. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.